All right, lost a little footage uh, due to a broken uh, SD card here for my GoPro. Uh, so just picking up though, uh, uh, this is some uh, epoxy primer that uh, was turned on to me by both James Freddy's and um, and Shut Your Face Garage. Uh, Shut Your Face Garage used this on the uh, the uh, bed uh, panels that they did with the uh, with the metal flake and candy and all that uh, for wrong side. Um, we're going to use it uh, as well today. Uh, in fact, I've already uh, mixed it up and sprayed it on our um, Ramsey Custom sign back here that we had done in brushed aluminum. So, you know, it, it leaves kind of a milky finish on there, but it's definitely clear. And to my knowledge, is the only real official solution that you can use for uh, clearing over bare metal. So, uh, and, and actually get, you know, an official epoxy on there that's gonna adhere and give you good protection and all that uh, for the long run. And, you know, we may use this on some other projects coming up too. Um, we'll have to see kind of, you know, how it works out and how it goes, so. Um, but anyway, so bringing you in a little closer here. So this is just this little sign I was making for uh, the sub box for Matt uh, that he, he built for his Jeep. And um, you know, these are fun little projects because you can test out things that you haven't done before. You know, try things that you wouldn't risk on a real, you know, a, a serious project. So, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll see how this goes here. Let's see. remember the base coat that we used on the Mustang for the uh, for the pinstripe uh, it was a pearl blue from from a Porsche so we're gonna use some of that for uh, for what we're doing here and uh, there's a there's a half pine in this so I'm just gonna fill reducer up to the top and just get the whole thing reduced up and I'll take a marker and write reduced on the side of it and that way we know what we got. This way, whatever I don't use, I can just dump back in the can and not have to worry about, uh, did I reduce it, did I not reduce it, you know, all that stuff. And this is Omni Plus base coat here, and it's a one-to-one -one mix. This blue is uh, very, very, very transparent. I remember when we did it on the Mustang, I just, I mean, it took forever. You can see the, the stick there, you know, how little it's covering. So I'm not gonna bring you close in. I'm, I'm filming all this on my GoPro, and I don't wanna get over spray, you know, on the lens and all that. And. Um, you guys are used to seeing me have it really close up on everything I'm doing, but in this particular case, I'm gonna have it way back and make sure we don't get it. This is how it goes sometimes. Mm. Tear out right there. Yeah, I'm not sure why that base is lifting off of there so easy. If I didn't, I only let that set about 10 minutes before I pulled the tape and it looked like it bridged, but 
you would think that it would still be stuck good there. And again, I said this, as I said, this is, turn the mic around. Uh, as I mentioned, the base uh, is very translucent and you have to hammer a lot of it on there to get it to cover. So it was pretty thick, even though it's just base coat. So um, we're gonna see if we can still salvage it and do a little uh, cleanup around those edges there. Um, no big deal, just uh, extra work. Probably can't pick it up too good on the camera, but I got blue fine line tape just kind of redefining the edge. And I got a little bit of a crappy brush here. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna grab a little bit of base coat from, from in there and just need a smaller brush that'll fix that edge. And we'll see what this looks like. Okay, so just cleans up the raggedness. I'm gonna get a different brush, but you get the idea. I mean, yes, you can see that, but it's better than it being torn out. So we got all the touching up done to the sign that we wanted to do and um, ready to put some clear on it now. So just as a review, we got um, the squeege clear epoxy over the bare aluminum and then base coat on top of that. And I came back with a countersink bit as you saw and re-cleared uh, uh, those out. I didn't, didn't get it all the way down in there, but I just enough to where uh, there's some contracts between the aluminum and the, and the blue the bolt will hide most of that. And then uh, we're gonna do a matte clear coat on it using PPG's uh, 2060, DCU 2060. All right, we'll come back and show you what that looks like. All right, well, we got it all finished up. I apologize, the last couple of videos have not been uh, highly produced and edited, but um, you know, that takes a lot of time to do that. And lately I just haven't had had that much time the last few days so just doing these a little bit of the old school way but hopefully it's uh still turning out to be meaningful content we got a proper uh backdrop you know i always believe in uh you know some nice greenery there to to uh, set things up in. All right, that's a wrap.